Hi ladies, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing eight things that I regret buying. So I have been a stylist and an influencer for over 10 years. And so there have been things that I have bought that I have literally like regretted it so bad and wish that I had never bought these things. So I definitely wanna share them with you because that's why I'm here, is to help you look and feel like the best version of yourself. And definitely part of that is dressing well because like it or not, the clothes that we put on our body definitely have a direct impact on how we feel about ourselves deep down on the inside. My hope is that me sharing these eight items that I completely regret buying, it will help you not to make the same mistakes that I have. Item number one is the green Bottega bag a few years back. So this bag was trending really hard. I don't know if you saw this bag. I bought it because I saw it on celebrities. I saw it on some of my mega influencers and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I love this bag. I have to have it but I didn't think through the purchase as much as I should have because a bright green bag just doesn't really go well in my wardrobe. I am not somebody that loves bright colors. I am not someone that wears bright colors, even a handbag very often. So me spending the money on this real Bottega bag was honestly a waste of money because I think I carried this bag maybe five times total. So it was a complete waste of money. I ended up selling it on the real real. So don't make that same mistake. If you see a really cool bag and you just have to have it, maybe it's a designer bag, make sure that you buy it in a neutral color or make sure that you buy a color that you will actually carry a lot so that you will ensure you get your cost per wear. So a bag that I am happy that I did buy that I have literally carried tons of times is this YSL Hobo bag. This is a beautiful handbag. It has crock embossed leather with beautiful gold subtle emblem on it. So black and gold is a really luxurious looking color combination. I carry black handbags a ton. It's probably the number one color of handbag that I carry. So I know that if I buy a black handbag, I will carry it a lot and I will get my cost per wear out of it. So love this handbag. I paired it with this fabulous Good American tie waist denim jacket. I love this jacket because it is so slimming because it does have this really cool tie around the waist, which means you can accentuate your waist in a denim jacket will never go out of style. I paired it with these slimming modern skinny jeans. They're actually more of like a high-waisted tapered straight leg jean. These are by A Gold E and they're called the Riley. I love the ankle length because these jeans look amazing with ankle boots. They look great with heels and they look really good with sneakers as well. So if you're looking for a pair of denim that goes with all types of shoes, these are your answer. Another way to style this versatile YSL handbag is with this amazing black blazer and black bodysuit. This blazer and bodysuit is from Express, so it's very affordable. However, it's also high quality, it's wrinkle free. I love a classic black blazer. They're timeless, they're versatile. You can wear them so many different places. And then I just paired them with some really cool faux leather, olive green cargos. You guys, these are high waisted with a straight leg silhouette. So very on trend. And I'm really loving this olive green and black combination. All right, the second thing that I regret buying over the years are bath pillows, cheap plastic bath pillows. I am a big believer in self-care. I have a nightly routine that I swear by. I honestly take a hot bubble bath almost every single night because it helps my anxiety, it helps me calm down, it helps me sleep better. And I have actually been on the hunt for the last couple of years for the perfect bath pillow. And I swear I think I've ordered like five of them on Amazon and every single one is like cheap or it slips or it's not big enough or it's too small. Like I just could never find the right one until I found Bade Sofa bath pillows. And actually Bade Sofa is sponsoring this video. So I would like to take a moment and thank them for sponsoring this video. But when I tell you this solved my solution because my current bathtub, now that I have moved into my apartment, it is actually very comfortable, but obviously without a bath pillow, it was not comfortable at all because the Bade Sofa pillow, it is big, it is cushy. It literally feels like you're laying on your couch, but you're in your bathtub. So I am obsessed with this bath pillow. I have been like laying in my hot bath the last couple of weeks since I've had this pillow and I just like, feel so zen, so relaxed, and just like my anxiety decreases like as I'm laying in my bathtub. So this bath pillow is well worth it if it can decrease my anxiety. 
As you can see, this beige sofa pillow is a beautiful beige shade. It's made of this antibacterial material that also has mold protection on it. It's cushy, it's soft, and here's like the thickness of it. It's just like super soft and cozy, and honestly, I feel like I'm laying in my couch even though I'm in my bath when I'm using this amazing bath pillow. I love the size of it because it really supports my neck and my back, not just my head and my neck because that's a lot of the pillows that I ordered previously to this one. They were too small, so like maybe my head and my neck would get you know, support, but this one supports my back, my shoulders, my head, and my neck. It is amazing. It does come in six different colors and five different sizes. So this pillow is amazing, you guys. It will literally change your bath time. It will make it so much more relaxing and so much better. They also offer a seat pillow and a foot pillow. So you could literally feel like your entire body is laying on a couch while you were in the bathtub. The best part, you guys will get 15% off with my special code, Heather15, which will be linked down below in my description box. The third thing I regret buying is the oversized jackets. So I bought several oversized jackets because the last like two years or so, oversized jackets have been very on trend. But what I find that I do is I will buy these really cool fashion forward oversized jackets and then I won't wear them. Why? Because I'm five foot four, I'm a bit on the petite side and these oversized jackets just end up overtaking my silhouette. They end up just looking sort of frumpy on me so I don't wear them. So this is my point ladies don't buy something just because it's on trend just you know only buy things that actually look good on your body frame so that is the mistake I have made in the past and I will try to not make that mistake any longer so this is a great jacket that is not oversized. This is a cropped casual bomber jacket from Revolve. It's lightweight. I love wearing this with yoga clothes, but as you can see, it also looks amazing with denim and a hat, just like for a super easy casual weekend look. Um, I did a white top. This top is like a ribbed lightweight sweater from Express. And then these are some high-waisted 90s slim straight leg jeans. So great for the weekends because you can pair them with sneakers, but then you can wear Wear them in the evening as well with heels. You could also wear them with ankle booties. These jeans are under a hundred dollars and trust me when I say they fit and feel like designer denim, but they don't have the price tag of designer denim. And then these are some amazing metallic sneakers by Philip Modell. I love these sneakers. I love this metallic shade and metallics are going to be a huge trend in 2024. So these sneakers are not only super comfortable, but they're also very on trend. All right, the fourth thing that I regret buying is anything on sale just because it's on sale. Have you ever done that? Like you see something and it's like, ooh, that's 70% off. That means I have to have it because look at all the money I'll be saving. But I heard someone say this one time and I totally believe this. If you wouldn't pay full price for that, if you don't love it that much, then you don't need to buy it because basically you're just buying it because it's on sale. And then what happens when I do that anyway, is I buy it because like, ooh, I feel like I got a really good deal. And then I bring it home and it just sits in my closet and collects dust. So I actually didn't save money. I actually wasted money because I thought I wanted something just because it was on sale. So avoid buying things just because they're on sale and always ask yourself the question, would I buy this item if it wasn't on sale? And if the answer is no, then just leave it alone. You shouldn't buy it. So this is a sage green bomber jacket that was actually on sale on the Mango website and I actually purchased it full price on the Nordstrom website. So this is a great jacket that I would have purchased full price even though I wasn't able to get it on sale, but all of you hopefully can get it on sale. It's under $100, it's wrinkle free. I love this sage green color for spring and summer, especially paired with light wash denim and ivory. I think it's a beautiful color combination that just screams spring and summer. I paired it with these fabulous Tomcat mother jeans. These are a high-waisted um, straight leg silhouette, but they are slightly tapered at the bottom, which I think makes them extremely flattering and extremely slimming. Also, I love mother denim because they have enough stretch in them to make them comfortable. However, they also do a really good job of hugging your curves in all the right places. 
The fifth thing that I regret buying are cheap investment pieces. So investment pieces are like blazers, leather jackets, a good white button down, leather handbag. I'm done buying cheap, fast fashion because what it does is it just basically falls apart after one season and I would rather spend a little bit more money on something like a blazer that I know I'll be wearing time and time again something that will stand the test of time. It will be timeless, it will be classic, and I'm okay with spending a little bit more money on it if that means the fit's gonna be better and it's going to last longer. So this is one of my most prized blazers and it was definitely an investment, but I've had it for like five years and I love it. It's a white Balmain blazer. It is one of my favorite jackets to wear in the spring and summertime. I know this jacket will be in style literally forever. It is timeless, it is classic, and yes, it was a bit of an investment. However, I knew I would get my cost per wear out of it because this beautiful white blazer can be worn literally almost anywhere, to church, on a date night, on a girl's night out, with sneakers on the weekends, with denim, you know, with heels and jeans on a date, like literally you can wear it anywhere and it is timeless. It's got shoulder pads, it's cut in at the waist just like a well-structured blazer should be cut. And this is something that just made me feel really good when I put it on, I felt classy, I felt elegant, I felt like the best version of myself. So I knew it was gonna be a good investment for me versus if I would have spent like you know, $50 on a cheap blazer, you know, that I knew I wouldn't be wearing that often. That would just be a waste of $50 because it would be cheap. It wouldn't fit me the right way. The material wouldn't be high quality. It would probably wrinkle. It just wouldn't look as good. So I'd rather save my money and buy more, you know, high quality investment pieces than just buy cheap basics. All right, the sixth thing that I regret buying every time I do it is printed clothing, whether that's you know, florals, which I don't buy florals, but you know, polka dots or stripes, like yeah, that's kind of pretty and it's kind of fun. And I think like, ooh, that, that would be really fun and flirty to wear that cute printed top. But guess what, when I buy a printed top or something, I get it home and I don't wanna wear it. I don't like it. I ask myself, why did you even buy that? You know you don't wear prints. You know you don't like prints. So I try to buy neutrals, solid colors, because that's what I wear. I really try to stay away from buying things, obviously, that I don't wear. So how about you? What's something that you buy, but then you get it home and you just don't wear it? So for me, like I said, it's prints. If you were to go through my blog or look at my Instagram page, I'm almost always wearing solid neutral colors because that's what makes me feel like me and that's what makes me feel like the most confident version of myself. And I always say this, you should only wear items that make you feel good. It really is that simple. So this is a solid black blazer and a solid black bodysuit. And this is a high quality blazer, even though it's not a Balmain blazer. So when I say high quality basics, it doesn't have to be designer. So Express makes one of the best high quality blazers for the best price, for the most affordable price. Like I said, this blazer is wrinkle free. It's made of high quality material. Uh, the fit is impeccable. You can actually cinch it around the waist. So it makes it a little bit more fitted and definitely more flattering. I paired it over their body contour bodysuit, which I love. The material is amazing. It hugs your curves in all the right places. And then these are some fabulous Anita Bing jeans. They're a high-waisted, sort of a baggier denim silhouette, which is really all the rage right now in 2024. I just did a denim trends video. I will be sure and link it down below because it's doing really well. And if you love wearing jeans as much as I do, you will love this video. But these jeans are fabulous. Every time I wear them, I get tons of compliments on them. They're very vintage inspired. They don't have any rips in them, but they do have a raw edge hem. So they're still a little bit edgy and just very cool girl vibes. The seventh thing that I regret buying every time I do it is anything that's like super bright, like a super bright pink top, a bright yellow top, a bright orange blazer. I bought this bright orange blazer last year and I think I wore it one time. I just don't wear loud colors. Same reason I don't wear loud prints. I just feel a little off when I wear them. So I don't wear them very often. Do I ever wear them? Occasionally but not that often. So I really try to stay away from buying crazy loud neon colors because they're just not me. So this is a very muted neutral earth tone, sort of like a brown and camel combination. This is a really cool denim strapless dress that I just got from the Revolve website. 
I thought it was very edgy. The fit is impeccable. It has a very cool, tastefully sexy um, slit up the back of the dress. I think I will definitely be wearing this on my next date, whenever that may be. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, I think it's sexy, and I love this camel and chocolate brown color combination very luxurious and expensive looking. I paired it with a black leather jacket and a simple pair of black pumps to complete the look in my YSL hobo bag that I talked about earlier. All right, item number eight that I regret buying are these Prada kitten heels. This is another item that was everywhere on celebrities and influencers, and I thought, oh, those are really cool. I love those heels on her, so I think I'm gonna buy them for myself. I bought them, and what I realized is I don't love how low the heel is. It's like not even two inches. It's like a one inch heel. And I just feel a little frumpy when I wear low heels like that. So I should have known that about myself. And I kind of did, but I sort of ignored it and I bought them anyway. And then guess what? I did never wear them because every time I put them on, I just thought like, these heels aren't high enough. I just feel a little bit frumpy. So I totally regret spending the money on those Prada heels. What did I do? I sold them to the Real Real, which was amazing because I was able to make a little bit of my money back. But I'm done buying things that I'm questioning. So if you're ever questioning something like, mm, I'm not really sure if I love that, then guess what? You don't love it. You shouldn't buy it, okay? If you have to question it, then the answer is no. And that actually can be applied to other aspects of your life. If you're dating someone, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're questioning it, you're like, mm, I'm not really sure. The answer is no, because hey, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no in my book. So these silver heels by LaRude, I do not regret buying because they actually have, I think like a two and a half to three inch heel, which is high enough for me to feel amazing when I put them on. Besides the fact that they're a beautiful silver metallic shade and silver is another huge trend we're seeing in 2024. I paired them with these amazing Veronica Beard cuffed jeans. I love these cuffed jeans because they're a light wash and they're high waisted and the cuff allows you to show off your favorite pair of heels. I paired them with this amazing Chanel inspired ivory tweed jacket by Blank NYC. You guys, this jacket looks way more expensive than it really is. So I really loved the way this beautiful spring look turned out. Perfect for church, for, the, for a date night, for the office, for happy hour, for Sunday brunch. The possibilities are endless because this look is so versatile and so wearable. So I wanna thank Bade Sofa again for sponsoring this video. Remember, you guys can get 15% off with my special code, Heather15, and it will be linked down below in my description box. So please let me know of an item that you regret buying because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope all of you have an amazing day because you deserve it, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.